Howdy folks, AJ coming at you again, your resident vintage gamer, and I wanted to give equal time to another game that uh, is showing at, uh, they're showing at QuakeCon uh, right now, that's the Elder Scrolls Online, uh, I've been talking the last couple of days about EverQuest Next, because that, you know, that was a, a big deal and everything, but I wanted to give equal time because they show um, a in-game uh, presentation of Elder Scrolls Online, uh, the combat system, they show a dungeon and all that. I'm going to put the link in the description below uh, for the Twitch TV um, video of the pre-recorded video of that. Um, they do, they show the, uh, the, what they call the cleanliness of their, their UI system in the Elder Scrolls Online in this video. Uh, there's not, there's no hot bar for, there is a hot bar, a very small hot bar for abilities, but there's no cooldowns, and you don't have this big, you know, two or three hot bars full of cooldowns and all this. It, uh, in a way, it, uh, from what they show, it performs very much uh, like a first-person shooter um, with a, a, you know, a left attack, uh, you know, hold left, left uh, mouse button for, for a power attack. Uh, right mouse button for a block. Um, they show uh, a lot of first person perspective, but they also show that you can play it in third person, so you have that option. Um, where on the EverQuest Next presentation, um, they only showed third person. Now, it doesn't mean that they don't have first person, but that's all they showed. So, uh, and the, another difference, uh, an obvious difference that you will see is that uh, with EverQuest Next, they went with the stylized graphics. Um, uh, look to their game where with the Elder Scrolls Online it is diametrically opposed uh, completely the opposite where they went with uh, a very realistic uh, um, look to the game it's not stylized at all it's more it's more giving you that realism look so it just depends upon which you prefer which which uh, which look uh, of the environment you like um, I tend to I tend to go towards the realistic side. I, I like things to look like I'm walking through a real medieval town or, or whatever, you know, with with realistic looking um, uh, buildings and all that, as opposed to more of a stylized uh, color palette and all that. That's just my personal preference. But anyway, so it's kind of good that you get to see both in the same weekend. They they both are showing you know gameplay footage. So um, you know, take that for what it is. Uh, they also show a little bit in this, uh, in the Elder Scrolls Online footage, they show a little bit about um, their skill tree system and all that. They show a little bit about, uh, uh, just a little bit about cust uh, character customization um, and all that. So uh, I hope you, uh, you'll you check out the video on Twitch and see for yourself what you think. Um, I, I personally, I think they both, I mean, they both, the Elder Scrolls Online and EverQuest Next both are offering some really cool uh, features come, you know, to look forward to in the future for for the MMO genre. So um, I hope you guys enjoy it. Go check it out, and uh, we can talk about it if you want down in the in the comments. Um, and until next time, we will catch you guys on the flip side.